Chapter 30 Woe to the apostate children, says the Lord. You made counsel, but not through me. And covenants, but not of my spirit, so as to add sins to sins. You proceeded to go down to Egypt, but did not ask me, so as to be helped by Pharaoh and protected by the Egyptians. For the protection of Pharaoh shall be your shame, and there shall be disgrace. For those who trust in Egypt. For there are rulers at Tanis, evil messengers. In vain shall. They labor in seeking a people who will not profit, help, or benefit them, but they shall be for. Them a shame and a disgrace. The vision of the quadrupeds in the desert. In affliction and distress they carry their wealth on the backs of donkeys and camels amid. Lions and lions cubs and vipers and the offspring of flying vipers to a nation that will not. Profit or benefit them, but will be for them a shame and a disgrace for the Egyptians shall. Help you utterly in vain. Tell them, this consolation of yours is in vain. Now therefore, sit and write these things on a tablet in a book, for these things shall be. For the time to come, even forever. For this is a disobedient people, false children, children. Who are unwilling to hear the law of God they say to the prophets, do not report to us. And to those who see visions, do not speak to us, but speak and declare to us another. Deception. Turn us aside from this way, remove this path from us, and take away from us. The Holy One of Israel. Therefore thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, because you disobeyed these words, and hoped in falsehood and grumbled and were confident in this. Respect, therefore, this sin shall be to you like a wall ready to fall when a strong city is taken, whose fall is immediately present. Its fall shall be like the breaking of a clay vessel, like that of a small jar, so as not to find among them even a fragment with which to take away fire, or draw a little water. For thus says the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, when you return and groan, then you will be saved and know where you were when you trusted in vain things, vain was your strength, and you did not will to listen. But you said, we will flee. On horses therefore you shall flee. You also said, we will ride on swift horses therefore. Those who pursue you shall be swift. One thousand shall flee at the voice of one, at the voice of five, many shall flee, until you are left as a pole upon a mountain, and as one holding a banner on a hill. And again God will wait, that he may have compassion on you, and therefore he will be exalted, that he may have mercy on you, because the Lord our God is a judge, and where will you leave behind your glory? Blessed are all those who abide in him. For a holy people shall dwell in Zion, and Jerusalem cried with wailing, Have mercy on me. He will have mercy on you at the sound of your cry. When he sees this, he will listen to you. The Lord will give you the bread of affliction and scant water, and those leading you. Astray will no longer approach you, but your eyes shall see those leading you astray. Your ears shall hear words behind you leading you astray, saying, This is the way, let us walk in it, either to the right hand or to the left. You will also remove your idols plated with silver and covered with gold. You will grind them to powder and scatter them like the water of an indisposed woman, and thrust them away like dung. Then there will be rain for the seed of your land, and the bread of produce of your land's increase will be plenteous and rich. In that day your cattle will feed in rich and large pastures. Your bulls and the oxen that work the ground will eat straw prepared with winnowed barley. On every high mountain and on every high hill there will be streams in that day, when many perish and the towers fall. In that day, the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun, and the light of the sun will be sevenfold, when the Lord heals the wound of his people and the pain of your plague. Behold, the name of the Lord comes after a long time, a burning anger. The teaching of his lips is with glory, 
a revelation full of wrath, and the wrath of his anger shall devour like fire. His breath, like an overflowing stream in a valley, shall reach up to the neck and be divided, to trouble the nations for their vain error, and error shall pursue and overtake them. Must you always be glad, and go into my holy places continually, as those who keep a feast? And must you always go with a flute, as those who are glad when they go into the mountain of the Lord, to the God of Israel? God will cause his glorious voice to be heard, and he will show the anger of his arm with anger and wrath, and the flame of a devouring fire. He shall strike violently with thunderbolts, and his wrath shall be as water and violent hail. 4. Through the voice of the Lord, the Assyrians will be defeated, as he strikes them with the rod and it shall happen to him on every side, that those from whom his hope of assistance was, and in whom he trusted, shall themselves, in turn, make war on him with flutes and harps. For you will be required before many days, was it prepared for you also to reign? No, God prepared for you a deep valley, wood laid down, fire and much wood. The anger of the Lord shall be as a valley burning with brimstone. Chapter 31 Woe to those who go down to Egypt for help and rely on horses, who trust in chariots. Because they are many, and in horsemen because they are very strong, but who do not trust in the Holy One of Israel, nor seek God, so he wisely brings evils upon them, and his word cannot be set aside, for he will rise up against the houses of evil men and against their vain hope. Now an Egyptian is a man, and not God, and their horses are flesh, and not a help. The Lord shall bring his hand against them, and those who help them shall become weary. All will perish together. For thus the Lord said to me, as a lion roars, and a young lion over his prey, which he took and cries out upon it until the mountains are filled with his sound, and the animals are awestruck and terrified at the fierceness of his anger, so the Lord of hosts will come down to fight for Mount Zion, even upon her mountains like birds. Flying about, so will the Lord defend Jerusalem. He will deliver, preserve, and save it. Return, you who planned a deep and lawless counsel. For in that day, men shall renounce their idols of silver and gold, which their hands made. Then the Assyrian shall fall by a sword not of man, and a sword not of man shall devour him. He shall not flee from the sword, but his young men shall be overthrown for they shall be surrounded by a rock as by a barricade, and he who flees shall be caught. Notes from the previous page. 29.15 The wisdom and counsel of the proud is but foolishness in God's eyes. 29.23 Godly works will help identify the Messiah when he comes. 30.2-5 Those who trust in Egypt or in any human government will labor in vain. It is good to trust in the Lord slash rather than to trust in man. Psalm 117.8 30 colon 6 Jerusalem is the desert, which will be devastated by the nation of Nebuchadnezzar. The quadrupeds are the foolish and rebellious people. 30 colon 9-11 When God's children refuse to listen to the prophets, they are attempting to stop. The very mouth of the Holy One of Israel, Christ himself. 30 colon 15 Return and groan, after warning them of their imminent destruction, the Lord exhorts the people to repent and be saved. Still, they did not will to listen. 30.18 God will wait for his people, testing their hearts, and giving immediate grace and mercy to those who abide in him. 30.20-23 Affliction is given by the Lord, the physician of souls, to open blind eyes and deaf ears to the truth. 30 31 33 The king of the Assyrians thought he would reign over Jerusalem, but because of Hezekiah's prayers, the angel of the Lord slew Sennacherib's army. Chapter 37 31 1 2 The people continue to trust in horses and chariots rather than in God. The 
Prophet Isaiah says he wisely sends evil to them, see Proverbs 3 11, 12.